the way Detroit is, we're a roughneck city. Um, we're a city of hustlers and just grinders. Um, we we work hard, but we do it with little resources. So um, it's not as polished as it could be. To give an example, a lot of the students that come through the, the robotics program um, have a real big urge to build and to create and to use some of those hard skills to to manifest uh, a creation or a robot or whatever it is that they're working on. Probably because a lot of their parents are either factory workers, construction workers, um, skilled trade workers, and those types of deals. So they they see the manufacturing side of, of the, the industry. Um, so they want to build. Um, what we want to do is turn them into a higher class of that basically um, more on the engineering side more on the uh, technical and not just the manufacturing portions um, but give them those type of skill sets um, so they can bring that back to the community and hopefully stay in the community and build up our community come down on one of the boxes, this, all these cables are going to pop out. Even if you put guards, just that little bit of slack, it could turn sideways. This program, um, this work that I do is, is important to me. I started as a participant in DHCC in their youth program when I was 11. I'm 33 now um, because I got into trouble. I was stealing cars um, out there in the streets trying to make what's known as the easy money which really isn't easy. Thank God, when I did get into the troubles and I got into the court system, um, they appointed me community service hours and down the street was DHDC. My name is Caitlin Hicks, I'm a senior and I'm the captain of Team 4680, the Aztec Eagles, and I've been on the robotics team for four years. I've kind of always wanted to be an engineer, but like robotics has really helped me with leadership and I became the leader of the electrical team um, in 10th grade and I've been the electrical leader since, so just having a role on the team like that has kind of helped me build leadership skills and it helped me run for other leadership positions outside of robotics. And then as a team, we've grown a lot because when I was a freshman, we were always wondering if we would even make it to playoffs. And now we're worried about if we'll make it to world. So the dreams that we have now were like impossible a few years ago. Be truthful and honest, we don't care about robots. Robots is not our first priority. It's the young adults that are in here trying to get experience not only building robots, but also get experience on life skills and growing into the adult stage, all right? There's a huge difference between a high school student and a college student. There's even a bigger difference between a high school student and an adult, okay? So we need y'all as young leaders to understand that, all right? And this is the point of this, all right? It's not robots, it's not competition. It's not about smashing the, the, the other person on the other side, the other alliance. It's not about that. It's not about going to states. It's not about going to worlds. It's about making y'all the best adults that you can possibly be.